Lia Sands, she took part in her first Dakar rally way back in 2010 in the bike category. In 2015, she finished an incredible ninth overall. She's got 13 World Trials Championships under her belt and she's back at the rally this year. But this time, things are a little bit different. Laya, here we are. Um, listen, this is a funny one for me because normally when we've done interviews in the past, we've been in front of a motorbike. You're doing the Dakar on four wheels. What made you decide to, to make the change? Yeah, it's it's quite a strange also for me. Uh, uh, I've been doing Dakar on a bike for many years. And of course, I'm, I'm missing uh, some things from there, especially my, my teammates. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. It's, it's really exciting to start something new. And it's something that I dreamed since since I was really young, and now I'm I'm in the beginning of a of a new part of, of my Dakar uh, life, and I'm really happy. What's it like going from bike to car? Because I suppose it's almost like it's like football and rugby. You you play them at the same pitches, but they're two different sports, and it, and it is kind of the same. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's completely different. Uh, riding a bike or driving a car, you know, to navigate that can help the co-driver. We, we do a good job together, but of course it's super strange because you, you really need to trust the co-driver 100% and sometimes it's, you would like to see the, the notes and, and especially when we get lost. Then I don't like a lot because usually I, I knew more or less where I did the mistake, but now I'm like blind. Uh, you, you don't know where are you and, and it's, it's a bit uh, strange, but it's, it's fun, and also I think we are having fun in the car and, and having a good uh, communication. I know that you said to me but before the start of this Dakar, you said, look, I'm not looking for a result, it's a learning year, but what about the future? What do you want to do and to achieve in, in the car category in the Dakar? Yeah, of course, I need, I mean, I want to dream a little bit because uh, I would like to have uh, maybe a a more powerful car with bigger wheels, maybe, maybe the buggy or... <laughs> For the moment, it's really nice. The car is, is uh, doing well. Uh, this car is really strong. And I think it's the perfect way to, to learn because I'm, it's the first time. Uh, I have no experience, so it's, it's the perfect way to, to start. A few years ago, I was sat down with Stefan, Peter Hansel and Cyril, Cyril Depre, and I said, boys, bikes or cars? And they both said, bikes. So I'll ask you now, <laughs> having had six days in the car, but like bikes or cars? I have to say that this, this question is like, ask someone if you love more mom or dad. Okay. You cannot choose. It's, every, everything has their nice things. And of course, I, I love bikes because thanks to the bikes, I'm here now. But I'm, I'm having a good time also now on, on the car and I'm enjoying a lot. So I think you cannot, it's difficult to choose. Listen, the Dakar wouldn't be the same without you knocking about the bivouac either on two wheels or on four wheels. It's brilliant to have you back. Enjoy the rest of the rally. Thank you very much.